Now, I want to say another couple things. The race is not to the swiftest. The guy who works hardest doesn't win. The person who works on the right problem at the right time in the right way is what counts and nothing else. And that's what I'm trying to do in this whole course. I've been trying to teach you something about style and taste. So you'll be able to have some hunch of when the problem is ripe, what problem is ripe, and how to go about it. The right problem at the right time in the right way we counts, and nothing else counts. Nothing. You've got to do that. But it's easy. There's a million races being run. you just got to get in one of them and win. Now, I mentioned earlier with regard to the chemists about what are the important problems in your field. At the urging of some other people, partly, and partly in my own, I used to set aside Friday noon and Friday afternoon for great thoughts. Meaning, yes, I'll answer a telephone, yes, I'll sign a sheet of paper, but mainly, what is the effect of computing on science? What the hell am I doing with this computing machine? How is it going to affect AT&T? What should I be doing with computing? What is the nature of software? My friends all, after a while, got to know. Friday afternoons, great thoughts. What's the nature of this, that, and the other thing? I spent 10% of my time trying to answer the question, what are the important problems in my field? 10%, Friday afternoon, straight through. Don't do it Monday morning, because you'll be interrupted immediately. If you do it Friday afternoon, some of it can linger over on to Saturday and Sunday. If you do it Monday morning, there's a hot conference at 10 o'clock, and bingo, everything is broken up. I use it Friday afternoon for many, many years. I recommend that you find a regular time to stop and think. What are the important things? What is going on? What is the nature of what you are doing? What is the characteristic of the job? What are the fundamentals behind it? So you have some idea of where you're headed so you can march in a uniform direction and get far rather than being a drunken sailor and getting nowhere. 